This video will take up some fill in the blank sheet on properties of polynomial functions. So all degree polynomials have no absolute max or min points, which makes sense because their degree, sorry, their range is all real numbers. Um, the maximum number of turning points or the most number of turning points is always n minus one, regardless of the degree of the polynomial. If it's even, the x intercepts will go from zero to n because you can have no x-intercepts. You don't have to necessarily touch the x-axis based on the end behavior. But if you're an odd degree polynomial, you have to have at least one x-intercept. And the maximum number of x-intercepts is n based on factored form of the polynomial. Domain is all real numbers for regardless of the polynomial. Uh, the range for odd degree polynomials is always all real numbers. Um, if the degree is even, the end behavior will be pointing to the same direction. Um, and if it's positive leading coefficient, it's quadrant two to quadrant one. If it's negative leading coefficient, it's quadrant three to quadrant four. If the degree is odd, the end behavior, behavior will be pointing in opposite directions. Uh, and with a positive leading coefficient, it's three to one. Negative leading coefficient, two to four. Even degree polynomial functions may have line symmetry. Uh, I'm not saying it will have line symmetry, but uh, it might have line symmetry. While all degree polynomial functions may have point symmetry. I'm not saying it will, I'm just saying it might have point symmetry. But what I can say for sure is that an all degree polynomial function will not have line symmetry. So let me draw how I know. Because let's say this is the end behavior for an all degree polynomial. You, you can do the other way around. You could do uh, two to four, for example. I'm just doing three to one. You know what? I'll do I'll do the other one for you as well. I want you to look at these two graphs. These are the potential end behaviors that you can have for your all degree polynomial function. If you look at these two graphs. I'm really hoping you can see it's impossible to have line symmetry, right? How can I have line symmetry? No matter what you fill in the middle, based on the end behavior, you're not going to get line symmetry. So that's why I'm saying if I have an odd degree polynomial, there's no way I'm going to get line symmetry. I might point symmetry. I'm not saying I will because it, it, it depends on how the middle of the graph looks like, okay? Um, but I can definitely rule out line symmetry, okay? And the same could be said if I had an even degree polynomial, if you draw in the end behavior, you can definitely rule out uh, point symmetry uh, for that function, or sorry, for that, for that graph. Okay, so uh, this sheet basically can uh, nicely uh, uh, um, goes over everything we talked about in the lesson. It covers all the key properties of polynomial functions.